power in the Philippines is really expensive. Um, if you look at our ASEAN counterparts, a lot of um, factories are not coming here and are m- moving off to different countries around around us in Asia. No? This was really seen. No? I think all of you at home also realized this when back when the quarantine first happened, the Moralco bills started suddenly started um, became a big issue because um, people didn't really understand how the power bills worked. And that's really not your fault because it really is a sharp learning curve trying to understand all of those things no, in, your, in your electricity bill. So I'm Bradley Kua. Um, I'm the SVP for Customer Relations in Exora and we've been doing this since 2018. Um, Exora Technologies is really an energy technology provider. Um, what we do is we create our own solutions and tools and we provide that to the industry to target the, def- the different um, challenges that they face. Three main issues that we try to address uh, address is the high cost of power here in the Philippines. Um, number two would be the lack of understanding or maybe the lack of education um, in the consumer side when it comes to understanding um, power. And the, the last issue would be outdated systems that are prevalent in many of the SMEs we have here in the Philippines. So we have three main solutions that we also provide. So the first one would be our online procurement system that allows um, industry players to easily connect with all the suppliers here in the Philippines. Um, for the SMEs, we provide them an IoT solution that will help them um, generate a roadmap on what to upgrade or what to update first in their electrical systems. And for the household level and for everyone above, it's really information dissemination um, of all of the um, necessary or all of the important um, things they should know, especially when it comes to the regulation side. For the beneficiaries, so for the industry scale, it's definitely the um, both the supplier and the, and the end user. So for the end user, we streamline the whole process. Um, before, it would take um, a, a handful of months no, to get a new supplier, but right now, we're able to push it within a month. Um, the, the consumer can get a new supplier. And uh, the supplier side, we help them by empowering their team. So most of their most of their teams are relatively small. No? So us being able to provide them access to new consumers from different parts of the country really helps them out as well. Um, for the IoT devices, this really helps engineers. So it automates a lot of the a lot of the repetitive tasks that they have to do. We really hope to make this to make um, electricity really more accessible and affordable to all Filipinos, both in the industrial scale and at the household level and as well as getting the getting the Filipino people ready for a more electrical electrified future and that people start to understand what number one what, what their power bill is getting them to read their power bill and not just pay it as we move forward to the future um, fossil fuels will really not be will be a thing of the past and it's really everything's going to be all about electricity